malfunction. Need input. Hey you guys, what is up? It is your boy Blaze here, coming at you once again from Need Input. So check it out everybody. Earlier this morning I was on Facebook Messenger talking to my good buddy over in the UK, Matthew Reed. And uh, he's also got a YouTube channel where he makes Mandela Effect videos. His channel is Quantum Entanglement. I've done a live show with him before in the past. He makes some great videos, so definitely go check him out. But he was telling me about this movie that was made back in 1971 and directed by George Lucas. And it's called THX 1138 and how he's never even heard of it. And he says that he's really big in sci-fi movies. I know he is because he posts a lot of stuff that's sci-fi over on Facebook all the time. And he says he would have heard of this movie if it was ever out before, if it was a thing in the past. And I started looking into it. I was like, you know, this is kind of weird and kind of creepy. I've never heard about this movie before. And you would think that George Lucas creating Star Wars, that this movie would have been discussed in the past. And I've never heard of it. I mean, it's just really bizarre. And when you start looking into it and reading what the story is about, it creeps you out even more because it's kind of on the idea of what's going on in today's world. I'm going to read the description to you. It says, THX 1138 is a 1971 American social science fiction film directed by George Lucas in his feature film directional debut. It is set in a dystopian future in which the populace is controlled through android police and mandatory use of drugs that suppress emotions. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? It kind of sounds like uh, what's going on in today's world with the whole Rona situation. We're, we're kind of in a police state where police have a lot of power over people, uh, forcing them to comply with all the Rona restrictions. And they're using AI cameras to do facial recognition and uh, scan our faces when entering stores and stuff like that in the disguise of thermal temperature scans. Uh, they are using drugs to suppress people's emotions through GMO foods, chemtrails, and also the PCR test and the VAXX. So this movie kind of sounds, you know, like basically what's going on in the world today and all of a sudden it just popped up out of nowhere and exists now um you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below uh you know quantum entanglement he asked me to make a video about this so i'm doing it really fast uh before i try to head out and go to work today with all this snow going on here i don't know if i'm gonna make it but uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and until next time it's your boy blaze here for need input saying remember be kind, rewind your mind. Peace out, everybody, and God bless. All Earth Council, in its infinite wisdom, has decided these two numbers are to be disposed of. The Biochemical Forum has demands to make on their parts, however, before they are eliminated. That's the kind of efficiency that makes you proud to live in this era. Are we happy? Are we happy and effective? Consultation with leading experts in the field makes it perfectly clear, perfectly clear that we are all now programmed for perfect happiness, perfect happiness, perfect happiness, perfect happiness. occasional technical or electronic errors in programming and or surveillance which produce perverse exceptions. I'm going to have a child. First they start skipping prescribed drug dosages, then they begin touching, then indulging in various sexual acts and the ultimate perversion, love. 
For such extreme psychobiological misfunction, only isolation will do. Despite rumors to the contrary, it should be made perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. There have been no, repeat, no unprogrammed departures. No pursuits. any persons venturing beyond prescribed areas.